Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney. If you've already been here, I appreciate you a whole lot. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about Sagittarius because it's now Sagittarius season. So happy birthday to you guys. Usually in these videos, I talk about personality traits of the sign, elements of the sign, and celebrities and well-known people that fall under the sun sign of whichever one is going on. So if you're, if you're interested, we'll just jump into the video right now. So the Sagittarius is born from November 22nd until December 21st. They are ruled by Jupiter, but Jupiter is the planet of abundance, good luck and fortune, expansion, optimism, a lot of good things. Wherever you have Jupiter in your planet or in your chart, like housewise, that's probably an area of your life where you have a lot of easiness or abundance or just good luck or really positive outlook on it. Sagittarius rules the ninth house. So the ninth house has to do with travel, higher education, philosophy, religion, and just kind of how you view most things in life, even a little bit of like politics or whatever. So you may have a planet in there and you definitely for sure have a sign in there and whatever sign rules the ninth house for you is gonna kind of talk, tell you what you experience when it comes to travel, higher education, religion, philosophy, etc. Sagittarius symbol is a archer. So you can think of bow and arrow. You can also think centaur, half human, half horse. I would say that they are the type of people that kind of look out into the world, figure out what they want, and then go for it. And they aim really far and high. Sagittarius is a fire sign along with Aries and Leo and fire signs are super outgoing, positive, very full of energy, not shy, and yeah, pretty upbeat and positive. Sagittarius is also a mutable sign as well um, as Gemini, Virgo, and Pisces. And these signs are super adaptable, they go with the flow, they aren't too stubborn and they are really good at just like adapting and changing they're really good with change they're not afraid of change they know that change is inevitable the sagittarius does look at the big picture of things they are not ignorant and they're pretty open-minded and they can see both sides of things usually and they just really can see things for what it is they don't focus on the details and worry about the little things. They're really pretty chill people. They're pretty outgoing and they're very optimistic as well. They see the brighter side of things. They are very enthusiastic and they're actually really good friends, especially the type of friends to be your hype man, tell you how awesome you are and encourage you to follow your dreams. So I really love that about them. They are also very honest. So they can be a little bit blunt. It can even be a little bit of an argumentative trait if they do fall into a negative aspect or like an underdeveloped aspect of being a Sagittarius. They can be a little bit um, forceful with their opinion. Kind of like, oh, well, I've done all my studying. I know this is right kind of thing. And so sometimes it can cause issues, but more than that, they're just the type of people that'll like let you know if you look kind of stupid or if you have something in your teeth or whatever it may be. They're very honest about pretty much how they feel. Sometimes it can be a little too honest. I've had um, Sagittarius is like, tell me stuff and it's like, okay, why are you telling me that? Or it's a little early for you to like, tell me that you know I barely know you but they just feel the need to be honest and upfront they don't want to play any games with people or like make someone upset like they're just very very sure to let you know how they feel and I appreciate that actually since they are ruled by Jupiter they tend to be pretty lucky if they're not like lucky and abundant then they're just like happy people and with that that's going to bring positivity and good things into their life so it's pretty cool to be a Sagittarius. Sagittariuses are also really funny. I think they're probably the funniest sign in the bunch. I also did a little bit of research yesterday on like the most funny zodiac signs. Obviously that's going to have to be up to everybody's own opinion but Sagittarius definitely kept popping up as like number one or number two and I also think Aquarius and Pisces and Capricorn like the last four signs of the zodiac I think they're the most funny but um, 
others were saying Geminis and Libras, but which I see that. So anyways, <laughs> they're really goofy and they just like make everybody laugh and they're very adventurous. They're continuously learning about whatever they are interested in. They really love to travel. They do not like to be tied down to pretty much anything, whether it's a job, relationship, mindset, anything like that. They want to always be expanding and going on adventures. They love spontaneous, spontaneous, spont. They like to be spontaneous. I'm trying to say that other word, spontaneity or something like that, but I don't know how to say it. <laughs> yes, they're big learners and obviously they're into like philosophy and religions and stuff like that. They might not be religious, but they are, you know, they like to learn about all of, the, all of it before they make their opinions. I would say that they're pretty generous and once again, since they are ruled by Jupiter, it makes sense. Like what, they bring goodness and they receive goodness back. They're not afraid to, you know, give their time or give their possession away to somebody in need. And they're pretty hopeful in that sense. They can be also a little bit of uh, procrastinators, maybe not the most um, excited about housework and schoolwork and stuff like that. Although they do rule higher education. So like they are, they can excel at like education, but you know, things that are not of interest to them can kind of go on the back burner because they're just, they want to enjoy life every moment. So, you know, they're also known to be a little self-indulgent and I'll just say it again, Jupiter brings bigness and like a lot to whatever it touches. So being ruled by Jupiter, you might be a little bit of a foodie or maybe like you spend a lot of money on yourself or on something of some sort. Um, maybe you like to really like relax a lot or maybe you're a big sleeper or something like that. Sagittariuses are very chatty, outgoing, playful, and very flirty. As I said earlier, they do not like to be tied down. So they really need freedom and room to breathe in any type of relationship. But of course, especially in a romantic relationship, it's not going to last long if you try to control them or if you hold them back. They need to spread their wings and fly. And so they need somebody that's going to allow them to do that. And that will also live their own life, you know, like their significant other can be them and they can be them and they can come together and have fun and be committed and stuff, but they need that breathing room and they can't not be controlled or like held down or like held back which nobody really should if you really think about it they're very curious obviously since they love learning and like asking questions about the world like they're very curious they want to know why things are the way they are and just you know the origin of things they're also very strong-willed they are fire signs so they're pretty strong leaders and they like to you know accomplish their goals and all that good stuff they're also a very independent which i feel like i don't even have to say that by the rest of the things that i have explained they are just go-getters and they don't mind being solo and they march to the beat of their own drum and yeah that's all i really got for Sagittarius today. So to start off, I'll name just a few YouTubers that I know of that are Sagittariuses, and then we'll jump into celebrities, actresses, singers, whatever. So for YouTubers, I have Rock, um, Roxette Ariza. She's a really pretty and fun makeup artist. She's really like goofy and stuff. We also have Lior Alexandra, the Dolan twins, Cody Ko, really funny dude. So. Yeah, some entertaining people. We've got Bruce Lee and Jimi Hendrix and RIP to them. We've got Tiffany Haddish, Miley Cyrus, Tina Turner, Bill Nye the Science Guy, Anna Faris, Sil Sarah Silverman, Ben Stiller, Chrissy Teigen, Zoe Kravitz, Janelle Monet, Lucy Liu, Britney Spears, Jay-Z, Julianne Moore, Christina Aguilera, Trey Songs, Tyra Banks, Jeff Bridges, Nicki Minaj, Jamie Foxx, Taylor Swift, Vanessa Hudgens, Sarah Paulson, Brad Pitt, Sia, Steven Spielberg, Jake Gyllenhaal, Melissa Milano, Jonah Hill, Samuel L. Jackson, and DJ Khaled. So that is the list that I came up with. Of course, there's a few others, but those are like the ones that I know pretty well. 
and you know that there's some pretty funny people in there, very outspoken people, people that really speak their truth. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments down below if you're a Sagittarius and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Sending you all the love and all of the good vibes and I'll catch you later. Peace out.